Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we continue our van life adventure by leaving Foz de Aurelio and heading over to San Martino de Porto and then continue our way to Nazareth, known for the biggest wave in the world. After that, we'll have a night nearby Aveiro and then we'll continue our way to Braga towards our final destination. During our road trip in Portugal, we made a stop in Nazaré, a charming coastal town. Before it became known for big wave surfing, it was a calm fishing town like many along the coast. So it's safe to say that the seafood here is one of the best. We spent some time at the beach trying to take in the sun from the cloudy sky and going in for a dip in the ocean to kill some time. Many places in Portugal stopped serving lunch after 2.30 p.m. so we had to wait until past 5 p.m. to get some food.
Yes, my sunset is right here. As you might have already realized, we love chasing sunsets. And in Nasdaq, there's no better place to see in it than from the cliffs. So we headed over there and I attempted to fly my drone for the first time. Sorry for all the shaky footage, but I promise it gets better. continue our journey towards Aveiro where we plan to find a place for the rest of the night. Put it on the bed? But I'll do a bigger one like no. Because there's a lot of waste space in that one. So it's 
that mean like the shower tray they have, you would just have a longer shower tray. Yeah. The same space though. Just the longer yeah, maybe, shower maybe tray. Maybe a little bit wider instead of long, just wider. Okay. I think that would be better. Just a little bit more wide instead of long. Because long doesn't make much sense. Wide would be better. Yeah. I think for me, I would not have a shower. I mean, but it's nice. It's nice, but like for me, I tried to shower like because you were first and I, you were trying to like scrub yourself and couldn't and you're bigger than me, but for me, I was still trying to like use the same space in the shower tray to see if it would actually um, would make sense for me to have that size of a shower. Because I was telling you, I would do the shower, but only if it takes up this much space, the shower tray space. But been trying to shower just in that shower uh, tray space I don't think it's um, yeah I don't know I don't think, it, I, do. I think I wouldn't do it. it depends how big the, the fan is if the fan is big like this one like why not if it's a smaller fan yeah but I think I also wouldn't get this long of a man oh yeah me neither I so think I right. think that that's also why I would say no shower doesn't like I would just On the shorter van, which is what I would like to have, I think given that we went a few days without a shower, we're still okay. Like today was the last day that not we did the first time we did it. Not the first time. It's not the first time. So if you can go a few days without taking a shower, and you know we could have bought like the wipes and clean ourselves up. Like the two blonde girls next to us. Yeah, something like that then I think you can go without a shower. So I would say no shower. You say shower, I say no if shower. This, if the if the bed is big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't want a big bed. So it's still, then it's a no shower. I think it's close. It's so a bit is probably inside. <laughs>
Stay tuned for the next part of the adventure as we continue our road trip towards Jerez, Portugal's only national park. We'll be sharing more stories and experiences from our van life journey, so make sure to follow along and join us on this unforgettable travel experience. Oh, it's cold. It is so cold.